My girlfriend and I love skiing. It's how we met. So last year, during both of our vacations, we hired a B&B one-bedroom cabin in Colorado by Vail Mountain. One of my friends told us that getting a private cabin was a lot more cozy, peaceful, and romantic. After landing at the airport, we taxied to a rental car place and rented a Honda Civic, probably the cheapest car we could get. We drove constantly uphill through the sludge on the roads until we pulled off the main road onto a more forest side road. Eventually, we made it to the cabin. It was far and isolated from anything else, but not too far that getting to the mountain would be a pain in the ass. The owner had left the key hidden in the mailbox. As soon as I unlocked the door and we stepped inside, I got a huge whiff of wood, I guess. It literally smelled exactly how you'd expect a log cabin to smell. It wasn't huge, but it was spacious enough. One bedroom, one bathroom, and a decent sized living room with a TV and a kitchen. I was paying chump change for it, so I was more than happy. Plus, we were there to ski and not sit around in the cabin. We got there towards the end of the day, so we didn't really hit the slopes that night. We actually just unloaded and got right back on the road to pick up a pizza for dinner. We got back and we were eating on the couch in the living room while watching a movie. With the dark, moody lighting and the whole log cabin atmosphere, it actually was quite romantic. All of a sudden, my girlfriend started freaking out about her bag. Apparently, it wasn't where she had left it, which was by the coffee table in the living room. I helped her look around, though there wasn't much space to search. She was absolutely positive that she had left it on the coffee table. It wasn't in the bathroom, the kitchen, or the living room. So I checked the bedroom, and sure enough, it was sitting right next to the bed. I picked it up and brought it to the doorway of the bedroom with a smirk in my face. My girlfriend didn't seem as relieved as I thought she would though. She accused me of moving it and going through a bag, which I found downright insane. We had a bit of an argument until I convinced her that she had in fact put a bag in there and that she had just forgotten. We went back to eating and watching the movie and we got over the argument quite quickly. The next day, we hit the slopes from early morning till dusk. We stopped on the way back to the cabin to get dinner again. When we returned to the cabin, we both immediately noticed the living room light was on. My girlfriend was slightly freaking out. I told her to chill. The front door was still locked, so that confirmed that nobody had broken in. I thought obviously one of us left the light on by mistake and didn't notice earlier because it was bright out. So once again, we ate our food and watched a movie when suddenly out of nowhere my girlfriend shrieked. I jumped up and looked at her. She had one hand covering her mouth. The other was pointing at something on the ground. At first I didn't see it, but when I did, I got up confused and moved closer to see it. It was a pair of somewhat fresh boot marks in the rug in the corner. The snow from the boots had melted into wet stains in the area rug. Obviously, both of us wore boots, but I just didn't remember stepping over there. My girlfriend asked me to check around the cabin to make her feel safe, so I did. I peeped under the kitchen table, behind the living room couch, in the bathroom, and I took a peep in the bedroom. There didn't appear to be anyone in the cabin. There really weren't too many places to hide anyway. Still, she was scared and seemed to lose all interest in the movie. She went to the bathroom and brushed her teeth, then went to the bedroom to change. And I heard her jump into bed. So I did the same. I climbed into bed and shut the lights, and we sat there for a while just talking. It was actually only like 9 or 10 p.m. My girlfriend kept letting me know how uncomfortable she was thinking about someone in the cabin. So I told her, okay, just wait one second. I took out my phone and dialed the Airbnb host. I put the phone up to my ear and heard it ring. I didn't mean the ring coming from the phone speaker. I meant I heard a loud muffled ringing coming from behind the wall next to the bed. The ringing stopped as soon as I saw my call was rejected. My girlfriend started screaming. Oh my God. I told her to calm down as I got up and approached the wall to the left. We noticed an ever so slight crack in the wall that looked like it could be a door. My girlfriend screamed at me not to open it, so I got up myself, angry. I yelled and pulled open the door. There I was, faced with a small hidden closet, and inside, a man hiding behind a cardboard box in the corner. It was the host, the owner of the cabin. I had seen his picture on the listing, and I'll admit I jumped and screamed in fear and shock when I saw him. But anger overcame me and I grabbed him by his shirt and pulled him out. I knew he looked creepy based on his picture. He had his hands off apologizing. 
I told him to shut up. I looked deeper in the closet and to my disgust I found some of my girlfriend's underwear. It took way too long for the police to arrive, but he was arrested. We had to spend the rest of that night at a hotel and the next day we went home. I requested compensation from Airbnb, but it took a month for them to refund me. Eventually they did. This story was so bizarre and disturbing, I don't even expect anyone to believe it. But I tell you, it was all too real.